Hello and welcome back to Eco Refactor. This vlog is about our family and what we're doing to try and be more sustainable, to cut our plastic waste, to reduce our carbon emissions, that kind of thing. And did you know that there are more people in this world that have access to a mobile phone than to a toilet? That's real poo poo, isn't it? So what can we do about that? Well, have you thought about what you put down the toilet? Uh, I don't mean that. I mean, after you've done that and you've given it a wipe, what goes down the toilet? A lot of toilet paper is made from virgin trees. So you're wiping your bottom with trees. Well, I guess you probably knew that. We bought some Cheeky Panda, but it came in a kind of, it was sustainable wrap made of cornstarch but we didn't really know what to do with it. It can't really go in our, co in our compost bin that goes out for the council. Uh, could we put it in our recycling bin? I'm not sure. I wasn't really sure what to do with it. So we looked again and we found another company that wrapped all their toilet rolls in paper. And not only that, but they give 50% of their profits to sanitation charities. Uh, so not only by wiping your bum with this stuff, you're actually helping other people wipe their butt. It's pretty good. The company's called Who Gives a Crap? And it's made by a couple of Australian guys who like toilet humour, I think. And so this is our first delivery of a subscription that we're now gonna have a look and see what's in here. So, first bad thing. This stuff, plastic holding the boxes together. I suspect the courier company did this. Bit of a shame. Perhaps use UPS, they've got electric vehicles. This came with Hermes. Anyway, let's get this horrible stuff off. So we also got a one-off set of kitchen towels as well to see what they're like. And that's what this top one is like, guess. So let's have a look inside and see what it looks like. Uh -huh. Be careful with knives, guys. Always look what you're doing. Wow, look at that. Fantastic packaging. So this is the packaging. Comes, it's recycled paper, made of recycled paper, the roll inside. The outside is also recycled. And you can see that it's just nicely wrapped up. Look, there's the paper inside, just wrapped up, no glue. And even better is each one's got a joke on it, yay! Right, so now we're gonna look to see what I'm going to wipe my bottom with next week. Be careful with knives, guys. Wow, look at this. Look at these. Don't they look pretty? So again, like the kitchen rolls, they're wrapped in paper. No, no plastic here and no glue either. All right, they're just nicely wrapped, nicely tucked in. Let's have a little quick look to see what the paper itself looks like. There's the paper, can you see? Nice and soft it feels. And it says here, give yourself a pat on the bum because 50% of the profits of these go to good causes to help other people make toilets. I'll let you know a bit later how they feel. Hmm. So we've been using the paper now for about three weeks. I'm gonna compare here the Who Gives a Crap paper with the Cheeky Panda paper and some supermarket papers here. Now, <laughs> First of all, I'm going to get the bad things out of the way. One of the things I find annoying is that it's very hard to actually uh, unzip. It's very stuck down very hard. The other thing is that the paper is quite small. So here's a Who Gives a Crap paper. And this one is a normal size one from the supermarket brands. Now you could argue that the bigger paper means you use more paper and I would agree with that 
but I do find these ones very slightly too small. The only other thing as well is that the perforations tend to rip like this and you sometimes get strips going up the side of the paper um, and particularly the kids find it hard to rip this properly without making a, a bit of a mess of it. However, having said those things, I would say that the paper is very soft. I mean, even compared to whatever this one was, um, and compared to the Cheeky Panda paper, I would say that Who Gives a Crap is slightly softer. And we're also gonna now do a test of absorbency, because I haven't actually done this, so let's go and try it. So we're out in the garden and it's been raining, so we're gonna try these papers in some of the wet, as if we were gonna use them on a uh, wet one. I've got two together. I'm gonna put them in this bucket of water. So, this is a supermarket brand. You can see it's uh, coming apart a bit, but it's got a bit of, a bit of uh, holding power. This is uh, the Cheeky Panda. which actually feels quite strong, even though it's wet. It eventually comes apart, but it's quite strong. And this is, who gives a crap? And it falls apart very easily. So you do have to be careful using this one on a, a wet one. So you can see that the Who Gives a Crap is actually a little bit weak when it comes wet. However, there are obviously some good things about this. Now, the company, as I've said before, puts 50% of its profits towards good causes, uh, good sanitation causes, and that's important. It comes with no plastic or even pretend plastic wrapping. It's all paper, and actually the paper can be used again. I I won't spoil the Easter egg, which is in the middle. So am I gonna stick with this or go back to Cheeky Panda or another brand? Yes, I'm gonna stick with this. Sure, you have to be a bit more careful, but that's a small price to pay for all the good that this does. So I hope that's given you a good overview of the Who Gives a Crap toilet paper brand and maybe you'll think about moving towards plastic-free pooing in the future. See you again soon. Cheers. The bees seem to like it. <laughs>